check it out guys, got some new pants. A couple of pencil pockets here. Check your pencil down there, or you can put it in that little loop there. You know, whatever suits you. Put your uh, phone in there. Important tool, these little handy pockets here. Kind of like nail bags. Sandpaper. Nails, you could hang your hammer there. We don't typically wear trousers like this in New Zealand because you know one week we're drilling holes in the dirt and pouring concrete and the next week we're sanding the edge of a piece of timber to make sure the painter can paint it well. Knee pads. But um, some of you guys have been asking about what builders in New Zealand do. We do most things to do with building. So we do the concrete slab right up to the finishing trim inside. I did my building apprenticeship with a company that did the commercial side of building, so shopping malls, schools, skyscrapers, and we'd spend about three months at a time doing plasterboard and then two months at a time doing finishing trim. In some sense it was specialist work, but it changed every few months. New Zealand's a small population, a small place, there's like four million, four and a half million people here. And back in the 60s there was only like two million, so I guess it never made sense to uh, only do one thing as a builder. Um, the downside of that is you need a lot of tools here in New Zealand to build. I don't know if this is working, I don't have my microphone today. You need a lot of tools to build, and that's why my van is so full. All of this could fit into this van here. And that's why I had to do that crazy fit out, just to hold everything that I'd need for a regular week as a builder here. So yeah, that's sort of my answer to what we do as builders in New Zealand. We kind of do everything involved with building a house. Morning. Can I please have a steak and cheese pie? I always have to get a ginger pistachio. Thank you very much. Have a good day. See ya. I think that is changing though. I mean, I'm still in touch with the, the guys from that old company and they're currently on a job where they're only doing the concrete and it's you know they're on level six so it's this huge job and they're just doing concrete so it's kind of special specialty work anyway that's just from my perspective over the last 14 years building in this country so if you know a bit about that maybe comment below steak and cheese pie very good i've got to do this finishing before the rain hits and then go and look at another job So we're at a job here, uh, not far from the Ellerslie job in Remura, and it's going to be a new bathroom renovation, so we're going to probably be ripping the whole thing out. It's very old, so let's go have a look at it now. Hey mate. Here I am with Carl Ross. He's a plumber. Plumber, and, uh, plumber washing his hands. Drone enthusiast. Oh, <laughs> I brought it. Did you? Yeah. The weather's looking a bit sketchy out there though, eh? Yeah. I don't think, actually this is old bro. Really? Yeah, it's... Yeah, that's like... How old would that be you reckon? Uh, don't know. Older than me. Yeah? Yeah. You mean to... Ned? Yeah, he does this camera thing, eh? Yeah. I've been wearing... He's wearing. subscriber number 83. Oh, is he? Yeah. What am I? I didn't know that until this morning. Yeah, he makes... Yeah, he's been doing this stuff since he was young. <laughs> I've known him since he was, what, five? Yeah. Oh, look at that. See, like, he goes like that. Look at Carl's light. Yeah. Because I normally work in the dark. Wow. Is that bright in your camera? What's that movie and he travels around the earth and he's got the alien? I think you're a little too vague. Oh, what's it called? <laughs> um, is it Flight of the... Oh, we'll find it out. I really like my life. Yeah? This is my life. So wow. It goes quite high. This it's... video is not sponsored by Milwaukee. 
So what's your review out, out of 10? Oh, mate. 10? Whoa. Yeah. Can't get better I'm than that. Yeah. Right. What are you looking at there, Carl? Uh, so I, you know, you asked me to come look at your house. We've been friends for years, and you've this is the first time you've asked me. And haven't even seen my son yet. He's only one. You know. <laughs> but this tells me a lot where you've come. You know, it screams out, "I'm here." My girlfriend got that. Well, we got that as a present from uh, my auntie. Very. Um, it was a joke. It was a joke. Very revealing, Scott. Very so revealing. It just screams out. Hi. <laughs> So Carl, Ross and I have been friends for a long time. Yeah, we have. How long? Uh, since five years old, so a long ass time. Do you want a coffee? I'd love one. Look what I found in Scott's room. Yeah, we've got some weird stuff in this apartment. Yeah, Wants to be a Yeah, yeah. Alright, bro. Good to see you, Carl Ross. Yeah, likewise, man. Ah, oh, it's good to see Carl Ross. Like I was saying earlier, me and him go way back. He's a plumber, so he's gonna help me with that job here in uh, Rimura. Should start pretty soon. Some of you guys have been asking me about my hand saws. So I've got this one here. This is the Silky Wood Boy. Some name. And it's a good hand saw, I really like it. I like having the fold out thing, you can put this in your tool belt. Also got um, a few chisels, like two cherries chisels. The reason I mention them is because I bought this and the chisels from the same person. And that person only comes to Auckland every now and then. And he's just called me and he's gonna come here now. Oh, it's always a good sight, Gaston. Yeah. Looking in the back of your van. One thing that I want to do one day is just record all the, the sounds that people are making when they approach the <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but yeah. all sort of sounds like, oh, oh, ah, hey, oh, that's that, uh, oh, 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 this is Christmas, oh man, oh, look at, oh, oh this is a uh, tool porn. And stuff like that. And then you go like, oh man. Like, this is going to be a separate video all on its own, I think. <laughs>